There is one more group of operations we do. We already spoke about how in a child who uh, is maybe not of walking age or just barely of walking age and the ball is really all the way out of the socket and it can't be put back in with a brace, we will sometimes have to open the hip up to cut the tight muscles that are in the way, put the ball in the socket and then uh, reconstruct the ligaments to hold the ball in the socket. So that's called an open reduction. And we don't have to do that operation very much anymore. It's, it's relatively uncommon because most babies are found early on. Um, so there aren't very many of those that are done every year, perhaps uh, eight or ten. Um, in some countries it's much more common because the diagnosis is made later. But the milder forms of hip dysplasia, uh, where the hip isn't really dislocated but things are malaligned and need to be redirected, um, those children need to have the bones cut and reoriented and held back together again with plates and screws until this real, it's really a fracture we perform. The fracture that we've done heals. And depending on the age of the child, they may or may not need any cast or downtime. Um, up to age five or six, um, the children often can't be trusted. And so it's a good idea for them for comfort reasons as well. Uh, for them to be uh, rested in some kind of casts. Um, sometimes it's a body cast. Um, older than age six or seven, usually we're able to use stronger screws and plates, and of course the child can cooperate a little better. So under those circumstances, uh, casts are rarely necessary, although short periods of time in a wheelchair and some time on crutches is usually indicated.